Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today's vlog is a little bit different, we're actually heading to London today and we are going to see Frozen on the West End. It's at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane Theatre. Um, we are in the balcony which is the really top tier. Um, so hopefully the view is going to be good. I think we only paid £20 for the tickets. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this Frozen vlog. into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change it all but look at us now i could have gone so far it hurts to realize we're parted yeah look at us now this is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again Tried much harder, all we have are scars. We said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. We said we'd reach the stars. But look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. And yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be. 
again, again, again Strangers again, again, again Like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again Started. It's time to get my head up again You said that you had to I'll try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again We've just looked around the shop, yes. a program and a magnet, a uh, film event so you can see all the stuff that we have. And now I think we're going to try and head and find our seats. It's half one so it's starting about half an hour. There's the shop just there. And then this is the entrance. They are selling sweets and things up here. Look. Stuff. Age 35. He says it's balcony. Excellent. Yes, it is balcony. <laughs> All the way up at the top, but there are bars and bathrooms up there as consolation. Great. Right. So. Thank you very much. So up there.
we're just finding our seats. Run row H. 35-36. So, we're on the balcony with a very furthest up. 35-36, row H. H, where's H? Here. There we go, these are our seats, we've got aisle seats. Uh, yeah, and this is our view. Like. Oh yeah, the rain's not too bad there, is it? Yeah, see. They're more expensive than seats. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm happy with this too. Yeah, I do have that in my view. Oh, that you that, yeah, you've got that bar in your view. A little bit, but we'll sit back, we're back, yeah. Well, no, I'm happy with that. So there we go, we're in our seats. This is our view. It's well, gonna start in 15 bike. minutes. Where are the toilets? That's the one thing uh, I'm not scoped out able. yet. So this is the leg room in these seats. I think it's fine. It's really good. And I think the view for the price, like these were what, 20 pound tickets? Yeah. I think the view's really good. So we're happy with this, um, aren't we? Well, I made you pick these. Yeah, I wanted to sit in the front ones because you could get 60 pounds for the front of the stalls. But he said no. Well, it means we can see more shows, so.
the show is finished now. It was really good, both really enjoyed it. So we're now gonna head to Hard Rock Cafe for our dinner before we go and see Evan Hansen tonight. So yeah, Hi, so we are now back from the theatre. We've actually been to two shows today, uh, but obviously this is going to be the review for Frozen and obviously skews the state of us because we've just literally walked back from the theatre. <laughs> I look fine. You look fine, I look a mess. <laughs> Never mind. So anyway, we're going to discuss Frozen. Let me just turn the brightness down because it's a bit bright. That's better. So, I'll let Lauren say first, what did you think of Frozen? First of all, let's say where we sat, we sat in the balcony, which is the very top tier, um, was it three rows from the back? Yeah. Row H, mm -hmm. C, 30... Three or two or four. Something like that, I think I said in the vlog. Um, Three or four tickets. Yeah, we're on like an aisle seat, uh, the tickets were £20. Um, the view was okay uh, where I was sat. I did have like a railing that I could see constantly in my view. If you see the curtain call, you'd probably see the little railing in that. Um, would I sit there again? No, I wouldn't sit there again. Would you sit there again? My view was fine until the tree, this tree, two couple and the child came in and was leaning forward. So I had to move Let's three see. seats down. Yeah. So maybe if you were further up the road then, you wouldn't have seen the um, railing. Uh, but I could see the railing, so yeah, I wouldn't sit in that particular seat again. But maybe I'd sit a bit further down the road if you could see mm -hmm. for twenty pounds. Um, but other than that, I would sit in the balcony again because the view was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, no. the price. If you want to see a bit close up, you just have to pay a bit more. Yeah, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. Like his his seat was fine. Yeah, was uh, and he paid twenty pounds, and he was happy with his view. Um, so that's the seat in the leg room was all right, wasn't it? At that theatre. Oh, comfy. Yeah, there was plenty of room. The seats were really comfy, yep. and the theatre, the theatre was gorgeous, wasn't it? It got be done, so it's that's hence where the leg space. There was more leg space. Could got rid of chairs to have more leg space and mm. not be so fine. But the theatre, all lovely theatre. Yeah, I paintings. Think I think it's the nicest theatre I've ever been in. Red one. and gold. Yeah. So if you didn't know, it was it's on at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane. It's a um, Andrew Lloyd Webber 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 but yeah, the theatre is gorgeous. Mm. It's worth going to show there just to look around the theatre, isn't it? Yeah. Although it, like, you don't have to be going to the a, a show to go into that building. You can go in and, like I said, go to the restaurants. You can even go in and look shop, around the, little, the shop, uh, yeah. little shop with all the frozen merch and you don't have to have a ticket. That's open for people to go in. As long as there's not a show on, you can go in and look around that, sh that shop. Um, but anyway, let's now talk about the actual show so Lawrence what did you think very good production high special effects so I can see why you're paying out your money for your yeah. bell seats because you are getting your money's worth yeah the sets were amazing weren't they yep. the sets were really really good the costumes yeah really good um I love the special effects I love the way they did the projections yep. I thought the projection work on it was really good Sorry about saying really, really good. That seems to be my words tonight. Really good. Really good. Well, it was yeah. believable and coordinated with the act, the performers doing the hand gestures. It made it look with, with the projections, it flowed and looked real. Yeah. They also noticed uh, during the production, actually, like they've had some little nods to uh, Frozen 2 in there, didn't they? Well, they had the music of Daniels and they said, the Queen said who she's from, yeah. Frozen 2, and they had that... And the Samantha. Um, ...teen song, the name or name or yeah. chant. But the, um, the Samantha bit, you know, is that Olaf going, Samantha? Samantha, yeah. Yeah, that's from Frozen 2. So they have got a few nods to Frozen 2 in there as well. Mm -hmm. There were some understudies on, wasn't they, for this show? Uh, uh, to yeah, Anna. it was Anna and Olaf were oh, understudies. understudies. Um, so there's two understudies on. Oh, the dress 
scene where she changes outfit, that is really good, isn't it? Yeah, that's good how they do that. I yeah. can see how they do that. How do you think they did it? Well, it was wires with glove, the cloak, and the dress. She went that. So it went down, didn't it? Oh, yeah, it went down. So obviously, when she yeah. got some of that precision, little hooks, something like that, it's all fell for obviously. Mm. Whips. And they went it down. down. Yeah. The little hole that sucked it down. It was so oh, good. got pulled down. Yeah. Really enjoyed so. it. The singing was, the, was a top perform notch. the performance, all of the cast were absolutely amazing. They were so good, weren't yep. they? Kind of I love Samantha. Yeah. Samantha Bartz as Elsa was excellent once she had voiced, it was so nice. Yeah, I've liked her since that made me as well. I've seen Samantha Bartz in quite a few things. I've seen her in Cabaret when she toured with so yeah, the lighting might be different because we've worked out how to put the big light on and not just this back light. Um, so as I was saying, yeah, Samantha Box was amazing in this. I've seen her in a couple of things. I've seen her in Cabaret back in, I think it was 2008. Um, she was really, really good in that. And then I've seen her in Oliver when she played Nancy. Um, and what else have I seen her in? I can't remember if I saw her in Les Mis or not. Obviously she was in the movie Les Mis, but I can't remember if I saw her um, in it. I'm not sure. I think it might have just been the movie that I saw her in. Um, but I think her Elsa is probably my favourite performance that I've seen of, of her. Um, her voice just seems to have improved so much. I mean, she's always had a great voice, but her Elsa was great. Really, really enjoyed all the songs she sang. Um, so yeah, she did a really good standout performance. Can you think of anyone else you thought was really good in the show? Uh, um, oh, you would love the way they did Sven. That was good. Cool. Yeah, the way they done that was really good. The person inside him. Christoph, I quite enjoyed. Yeah, I enjoyed Christoph. I thought I really liked his voice actually. Mm -hmm. I thought he had a really good voice. So anyway, should we go through the program and we can show you the cast list in here. So this was, was it five pounds? No, um, was it not ten? This was ten. It's not like ten and the keychain. I'm pretty sure it was sixteen. 16. So I think this was ten pounds. Was 10. Yeah, ten pounds. How much was the Dear Evan Hansen one? Was that five? Uh, I don't know. Didn't actually look how much. No, because that's smaller. Well, this was ten anyway, and we think the the we did get a magnet. I don't know where it is. Have you got oh, it? God. Let me get out and show us. We got a magnet, which I think was six. I did film the price list. Um, I think didn't mention magnets though, but I'm pretty sure that this was six pounds. It's a really nice one. Really like that because with the Beauty and the Beast one that we got from the tour, that was twelve pounds. I'm pretty sure this wasn't twelve. pounds. It didn't come to twenty. It came to sixteen. So, so yeah, I'll show you the program now. Okay, so this is the front of the programme. It's here, it's Fertile Royal Drury Lane, official programme, Disney Frozen, the West End musical. So, ooh. and here just is a note from Andrew Lloyd Webber. He owns the Fertile Royal Drury Lane. So that's just information from him. And then you've got Love is a Cold Climate. Just saying how it is, the, the story of Frozen was inspired by um, the Snow Queen uh, fairy tale. You've got an advert there for the Lion King. Um, Come from the land of the ice and snow to bring Arendelle to the world. Designer Christopher Oram went back to where it all started. So this is about the designing of the costumes. That's a nice article to read there. You've got an advert for Beauty and the Beast, and then you've got your cast list here. So this is your cast list, your ensemble, your swings and your understudies and as I said we had the understudy on for 
Anna, so we had Sarah O'Connor, and for Olaf we had Jeremy Bat. So we had two understudies. Oops, sorry about the glare from the light. Here's the creative team and the orchestra. And it says the running time from the show is two hours and fifteen minutes, including the interval. So then you have your musical numbers. So in Act One, you've got the opening. I'm trying to get the glare off here because it's very uh, glary. Let the sun shine on, a little bit of you. Do you want to build a snowman for the first time in forever? Hands of the Southern Isles, dangerous to dream, love is an open door, reindeers are better than people. What do you know about love in summer? Hands of the Southern Isles for prize and let it go. And then in Act Two, there's only a few numbers. So you had uh, Let It Go Reprise, I Can't Lose You, Fixer Upper, Christoph Lullaby, Monster, Colder by the Minute, and Final. That's all the musical numbers. And it also says at the bottom here. Ooh. Music and lyrics by Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. You've got an advert for Matilda and then you have your cast biographies. So usually playing Anna is Steph McKeon. Um, she's Irish, she's from, she's from Dublin. So that's Lawrence's hometown. And yeah, so she's from Lawrence's hometown. Uh, so she's been in the Carol, Beautiful the Carol King musical, The Commitment, and she's been in a few things. And he has Samantha Box as Elsa. Um, she's been in Chess. Uh, she's been in Les Mis, Cabaret, like I said. So she's been in a few things. Craig Galvin is usually Olaf, but like I said, we had the understudy on. Oliver Ormson is Hans. Obimar Ugala is Christoph, and I thought he was really good. I really loved his voice. Richard Frame was Wesselton. Ashley Birchall was Fen. Nicola Jade is Fen. And then obviously you have the children. So on this page you have your young uh, Elsa and Anna's. I don't know who was playing Elsa and Anna actually. Oh, she was young Anna. She. Yeah. Uh, she played young Anna, Anna and I thought she was really really good, she was really cute. So you, she played it really really well. And then this one, Ellie, was young Elsa. Again she was really good but I really loved uh, this girl's energy, I thought she was really good as Anna. And here you have your ensemble and your swings. And then your creative team. And I think that's pretty much everything that's in it. There's a little part here about how um, Craig Gallivan's approach to playing Ola. Just some little facts there. Uh, it shows you some of the merch that you can get. And then I think the rest is like adverts. Some different shows that are on. Lawrence is messing with the lighting. There you go. And so that is your program. So, what was your favourite musical number from the show? Frozen. 
Yeah. Mm. Let it go. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Yeah. Take that one. I'll see time for that one. Uh, the hands and thin scene ones. Um, just meeting, falling in love. Mm -hmm. What's that song title? Love is an open door. That's it. New ones I've ever heard that have been added to that. The monster, that's the one. And mm. um, what's the one that I liked? Um, I that, Can't Lose You? Yeah, that one. Mm. That wasn't in the Broadway production, they uh, did that for the West End show. Good choice, I'd say. That's a good song. I, I really like you. that. I think it's a really nice song. I think I don't know if it's replaced a song that was pretty I mean, in there, I'm not sure. But it was because. Else Anna is it Anna starts and then Elsa. I think so. Yeah, it's like them two singing yeah. them together. So my favourite are Monster, Let It Go, um, the one I just said. I can't lose Illusion. you. They're my favourites. But I really enjoyed. Was it the? Um, he's a bit of a fixer up her one. That one. I yeah, enjoyed that it's, it's whole scene and the dancing in it. Yeah. I enjoyed that, I thought it was really, really good as well. So, what would you rate this show then, Lawrence? A high. Out of five. Out of five. Five. Would you give it a five? You think it's a five star show? Can't fault anything with it. Mm. Like, it sounds good, but to every song? No, I think, no. I actually think I like all the songs. I could happily sit and listen to the soundtrack for that. Maybe four out of five. Mm. I think not four. Every song. Not everything's perfect. I think. I think I'd give it a four star. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would say four. Yeah, four star. It's hard to get five star. Ah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely recommend it. I would love to see it again. Um, I would love to take my daughter to see it. I think she'd love it. Yeah. There was a lot of children. We went to a I matinee. Know. There was a lot of children, a lot of children talking through it, shouting to the characters, saying hello. But we expected that. We knew we were going to a matinee and we were sat at the top where there were probably lots of children. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some women complaining and wanted but, to be moved to a lower level, a better price. But they knew what they were getting into. They booked a matinee. At a kids, a kids and yeah, a Disney kids. show. They knew they were going to be Disney. kids, and yeah, I don't think it took anything away from the show. Really, did no. it? Didn't bother me. Didn't bother didn't you? Bother me. Yeah, that's what kids do, don't they? So, yeah. Definitely um, being asked to I would. I would I mean, take four, Alice. I think so. Alice would really like it. It wouldn't take Leo. He's free. Um, well, he he's, he hasn't got as as good attention span as Alice. So Alice. Oh. Sit with us on the lap. I think she would watch it. Yeah. She might get a bit deep, but she'll sit on your lap when she gets tired. One other thing I want to ask you I think I've asked you this before, but not on camera. Where does it rate in the Disney musicals? Because we've seen most, well, we've seen all, well, all the ones that have been released in the UK, we've seen, haven't we now? Pretty much. So we, we saw Aladdin on Broadway. Mm -hmm. So Aladdin, um, no, we saw Aladdin on Broadway, didn't we? No, I didn't see it over here. I thought I saw that over here. No, you didn't because it's not toured. You did come to London. So we've seen we've seen Aladdin, we've seen The Lion King, we've obviously seen Frozen, we've seen Beauty and the Beast. I've seen Beauty and the Beast. I've seen the new production and the older production as well. Um, we've seen Bedknobs and Broomsticks and we've seen Mary Poppins. That is most of the Disney musicals. So where would you rate this? Easy answer. Lion King is my top one. Doesn't mm. beat that. Yeah. After the Lion King, I would say Frozen. Yeah, I think I'm the same. It doesn't quite push above the Lion King, I don't think. No, it can't be for me. Yeah. Um. So I think Lion King maybe just. It's no, like just sort of neck and neck for me. No, for I think, me, neck and neck. I think Lion King might just. Just tip it. No, well, yeah. for me, Lion King. Definitely. <laughs> and then I think after that, I think it's between Beauty and Beast and Aladdin next for me again. They're sort of similar. I do Aladdin. He put Aladdin over Beauty and the Beast. Yep. Uh, again, they're so close. I think maybe maybe Aladdin might just tip it over Beauty and the Beast. I'm not sure, but 
Yeah, what were Mary, you thinking? Mary Poppins comes last for me because I fell asleep and missed half the show. I won't go. But and he Mary said Poppins, he, yeah. he didn't really enjoy it. Um, or Bedknobs and Broomsticks. I did enjoy Bedknobs and Broomsticks. Oh, Mary Poppins, but yeah, I'm not keen on it. Yeah, there we go. So. That is our little fit up. Why, oh wait, here you. we go, you've yeah. got more to say. For Lion King, I would say why it stands out for me is thing. I was born with it, but Lion King, I remember when it mm -hmm. came out in the 90s. Yeah. So, I'm very much satisfied. Well, so did, so did Aladdin. Yeah, but Lion King's just more songs, all the songs available, and the culture. There you go. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little fit of vlog. We do have lots more theatre vlogs coming. We did see Dear Evan Hansen today as well. There'll be a theatre vlog for that. So if you enjoy theatre vlogs, please do give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, so if you subscribe, you'll be notified when all our theatre vlogs go up. So yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you again soon. Bye. <laughs> Oh,